everyone, it's Carly. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to Vlogmas Day 2. I thought it'd be really fun to just sit down and chat with you guys about a topic that I've never really talked about before, um, and that is periods. I recently, in the last two months, have experienced periods again. For the last three years, I haven't even had a period because of the birth control I was using, so I got really used to not having to buy products, not having to feel weird. Um, it did come with its own side effects, if you want to call them that, um, and everyone's birth control is their own personal opinion. Um, and for me, I just felt like after the three years was up, I wanted to really lower down on the dosage of, um, what's that word called? The period medicine? I don't know. <laughs> um, I really wanted to lower down the dosage of, is it estrogen? Oh, self-conscious. It might be estrogen, but regardless, I really wanted to lower that down so that I could receive a period again and just reset my body even though I am still taking birth control. I chatted with my doctor and this was the best option for me. Um, and so that meant that I have a period again and I have to find all of the products that make me feel good, the food that makes me feel good, clothing that hugs me and makes me feel comfortable and confident in my body when I'm not really feeling my cutest. So I thought that I would share these products with you because I love these videos. And even though periods are still kind of like a whatever topic, kind of a taboo, it still happens to everybody and I love talking about topics like this that like nobody talks about. It's very interesting to me and it's important to talk about. So I thought I'd share these things with you today. So if that sounds something like you guys would enjoy, keep on watching. And if you enjoy the video, hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you're new to my channel. It would really mean a lot to me. And you can stay along for the ride for Vlogmas. So let's get into the video. So we have a couple categories here. We have some food, some skincare, some stuff that I like to wear. Um, so I think I'll start with the products that help me when I'm on my period because these are the things that are vital to my period because I need somewhere for the period to go, basically. <laughs> so this time around on my period, I really wanted to ditch tampons because I just felt like they weren't vibing with me, I wasn't comfortable in them, I didn't feel great putting them in my body. Not that I'm 100% chemical free because I'm definitely not, but I wanted just an alternative to not put something in there, so I went into pads and period underwear. Those have been my favorite way to go through my period and I've just been living my life in pads and period panties and I love it so much. So the pad that I like to use, these are the Just a Period pad. They also have tampons as well if you are into that. There's no dyes, no fragrances, no chloron bleaching, nothing. So again, like I said, I'm definitely not perfect. A lot of my products have chemicals in it, but when I think about the sensitive areas, I just want to be extra careful. So I've been trying these out and I love them. I know not everyone gets along with pads, but I find them so great for my period. I never have any leakage. I never have any like uncomfortableness in my underwear. And they just work really well with my period. Um, like I said, everybody's different, but I have just been really loving this pad. So those are some of my favorites to use, but my all time favorite way to catch my period is, no, I'm not gonna say catch my period. One of my second and most favorite things for my period are period underwear. Everyone has been talking about period underwear. I know Thinks is a big thing. There's great ones on Amazon. So I jumped on the train and got some period underwear. And these are my absolute favorite. I only have like, what is this called? What is this cut called? Like the boy short, maybe, I don't know. Just like basically just an underwear. I only have this one right now, um, this style, just because I just wanted to see how they would feel, if it's worth the money, if I even like it, and I love these. So like I said, it's just a nice classic style. I did size up to a medium for my period because I feel like I can get a little bit bloaty on my period and I'd rather just them be bigger than tighter and they actually fit amazing. They're so comfy and I know that it's kind of a weird concept to just sit in underwear when you've been on your period and not have a pad or a tampon or anything like that, but it doesn't feel like that at all. These absorb everything so wonderfully and you don't even feel like you're on your period because you don't have, I know not everyone loves a pad. I'm super used to a pad, but not everybody likes that. So it doesn't feel like you're wearing a pad, um, but it also doesn't feel like you're sitting in nothing. So I sleep in these and I love them. So I wake up in the morning and I feel great. This is obviously a clean pair, um, but these have been my go-to every single night. I'm already on my order for a thong style, just all different types of period underwear because they're so comfortable and they're genius. Like, I just want to live in these all day long. They make me feel so secure, so protected. Um, and yeah, I will link mine down below so you guys can check out um, 
some for yourself if you're interested these one these particular ones i got off amazon uh, but like i said there's a million out there so i'll try to link the ones that i really enjoy down below so you guys can check them out but it has been such a game changer so those are kind of the things that i use when i'm on my period moving on to wearing i love to just be comfortable on my period it's so important like i said i kind of get a little bit bloaty so i want to bloaty what's up Gilmore Girls. All my Gilmore Girls fans, bloaty is not a word. Um, so anyway, I like to wear these when I'm feeling bloated um, and just like, I just want to be comfortable. I want to sit on the couch, watch a movie. And I've talked about these sweats before and they still continue to be my favorite. These I got from Uniqlo and well, actually Sebastian got these for me, but they're just a gray sweatpant. Like they're tied at the ankle, just a normal gray sweatpant, but they have like a Sherpa material all the way running through and it's the best. I love like taking a hot bath or shower on my period, putting on my period underwear and then sticking these on and I'm set for the night and they're so cozy. Moving on to my face and body because that's so important to take care of when you're on your period because I feel like things get funky for me <laughs> personally. So the first thing that I'm going to talk about is my shower exfoliator. This is the body polish by Dove in crushed macadamia and rice milk. And I've talked about this too because I love this stuff so much, but especially when I'm on my period because I feel like that time of the month just makes me feel like I smell weird. I don't know if that's anybody else, but I, I feel like I smell weird and my hormones are all all over the place and I just don't feel like myself and when I exfoliate I feel like a brand new person number one but also number two this smells amazing and it leaves like such a fresh scent on your skin that I feel like I don't need to put on any perfume any lotion afterwards like this does it for me and so when I'm on my period I love to exfoliate like every single day because it just helps me feel confident and helps me feel like I smell good and I feel good and I'm all nice and smooth so I wanted to include this because even though it isn't like a typical like deodorant or perfume or something like that it does still make me feel great so you have to find those products that work well with your body and make you feel like your best okay moving on to skincare my skincare doesn't change that often it kind of changes throughout the season but for the most part I use the same couple products but when I'm on my period I do break out just like everybody else and I love to take extra time to do a mask so I have two masks that I really have been loving especially on my period my period I break out but I also just feel like my skin is very red and irritated so I like to use like very calming cooling masks and this is one of my favorite this is from formula 1006 I don't know how to say their name <laughs> this is keep your cool um, and it is just it's gonna might be a little bit bright sorry about that but uh, this is one of my favorite masks to use I pop this on before I get into the bath or the shower and it just really helps cool down my skin it's very gentle um, it's a nice like gel consistency so I don't really like to use clay masks they just I feel like they irritate my skin even more. Um, so I like to stay with like a gel cooling mask situation. So I really love this one. And then the next thing that I love to use are sheet masks. Any kind of work for me personally, but I really like to specify on like hydrating and cooling sheet masks. Um, I don't ever find that sheet masks like help clarify my skin. I just feel like they're nice to pamper and soothe everything out. Um, so this one I have here, it's I have a million and a half sheet masks in my bathroom. Um, I really like this one from Aqua for Life. It's been amazing on my skin and I really enjoy it. Um, so yeah, I'll just pop on a sheet mask, watch a movie, sit on my couch, sit in the bath. Like I like to do things that are just a little bit slower paced and just make me feel relaxed and calm and yeah skincare is definitely one of those things that helps and lastly just to whip through um, staying with skincare it's just a concealer I really like to emphasize the concealer around the time of the month because things are happening things are breaking out I'm red um, and so this one by elf this is the 16 hour camel concealer is one of my absolute favorite um, it's so heavy duty it wears beautifully it lasts all day and it makes me feel confident so I love this, this is a staple anytime I'm on my period. And just in general, it makes me feel really good. The last two things on my list are things that are essential when I'm on my period. For me, I struggle with anxiety here and there. It's really hard to pinpoint when it's gonna come up or what's gonna flare it. But I have found in the last two months that when I'm around my period, it gets a little bit worse. So whenever that happens and I feel like I'm getting a little bit more anxious and I, 
I'm on my period and I just don't feel well. I have been loving coloring books and Sebastian like loves it when I just sit up in my bed and I color, but it does really help me. And so I thought I would include it because this is just a silly example of what I do to make my anxiety feel better or make me feel more comfortable and, and cozy at home. I don't know, I've just been really loving it and it makes me feel calm. Um, and so I just have this like sweet treats little coloring book. It's like cupcakes and I don't know, cakes and smoothies and whatever. Um, and so yeah, I'll just sit on my bed. Maybe I'll have a face mask on, my favorite sweats, and I'll just sit on my bed in color and it really helps me out. It is a little silly thing, but I think it's important to highlight the things that make you feel good when you feel like you're out of control and you just kind of feel out of balance. So I wanted to include that because this is my favorite. Uh, I just spilled all my crayons on the floor. 99% so of the time, I'm a salty person, but on my period, everybody needs a sweet treat, a chocolate, whatever it is. And this month, I have been absolutely 110% obsessed with chocolate pop tarts. And I know this is nothing like fancy or new. Um, and I'm sorry if you're trying to say off pop tarts and then watching this is gonna make you want them, but. I don't know what it is. I've had dreams about the Pop-Tarts. When I wake up in the morning, I think about the Pop-Tart and it's just like such a great experience. Popping it in the toaster and just like that crunchy outside and the gooey inside. This has just been, I only have, I only have two more left. So we're on the tail end of my period, so I think we're gonna be okay, but it, like I just don't know why, but I had to highlight the Pop-Tarts because they've literally been saving my life and they've been making it so exciting to go to bed because I know when I wake up, I'm gonna have a pop tart. <laughs> and that concludes all of my favorites uh, for my period. Some silly, some serious, but all in all, I just really wanted to share with you guys what has helped me in these last two months because it's been a change having to get used to a period again. Um, when you have that convenience of not having one, when you get it, you're like, okay, I need, I had no tampons when I started my first period. So anyway, um, I had to get back in routine and these things really helped me feel my best and feel confident. And I hope that you guys take time to be selfish with your time and take a bath or sleep in a little bit more or watch your favorite movie, um, eat your favorite food. It's okay to kind of splurge in that moment, but it's also important to take care of your body and drink a lot of water and go on a walk or be active. That can help with cramps or pain or even anxiety, just getting outside. Uh, so those have helped me as well. And I hope that this inspires you to take care of yourself and your body because this is something that we all have to get used to because Lord don't take away my period and give me a kit. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next one. Bye.